Okay, let's talk about the most important part of golf as we start to build our routine. We've talked about the golf grip. Today I want to talk about alignment. I like to think that alignment, without a good alignment, we really never have good golf swings. And without a good grip and a good alignment going together, again, neither one will work. But we've got uh, Rosemary. Now, I've never worked with Rosemary. She's come in and, and I'm gonna ask you to kind of align in, in, in a way that you can to this flag stick. And let's just have this as an intro for alignment. So go ahead and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple of clubs here and let's check out Rosemary's alignment. She's aiming at the flag stick. I'm gonna set the club where she is going to aim towards and we're gonna talk about her body flow lines, which are her body here. And so just go ahead and walk away over here, Rosemary. And let's talk just simply about your, the way that you aim. Rosemary does, I, I've given, as, as I've told you earlier, thousands of golf lessons. Typically, beginning golfers aim way to the right of the target. And if you look here, her club head is aimed to the right and her body is kind of parallel to that. So typically, she would hit it out to the right. The challenge and the reason why people do that, I won't go into it today, but when I work with people, I find out if they're either right or left eye dominant, Rosemary's probably right eye dominant. They tend to aim to the right and as a correction, they come back to the left or sometimes they aim to the right, they drop it inside and they hook it, but they find a way to make a compensating move. So what we want to do is we want to correct this, okay? Okay, <clears throat> let's talk about aim. There are two words we never want to confuse when we talk about aiming and aligning. We aim the club face and then we align our body and we do it in that order. So if I was to stand behind a, a golf shot, think of, of alignment and aiming uh, as it correlates to getting up in the morning. When we get up in the morning, we get up, we wake up, we go get our coffee and do our thing. That's the first thing we do in the morning, whatever it might be. When we play golf, your alignment has to be the first thing that you do. So I'm gonna stand back here Nicholas in his day would take a tee, put it out about two to three feet in front of the ball. He used to say that a, a human being can't aim at anything more than three feet away. Here we are trying to aim at something 200 yards away. So we're going to set up a grid. This is the million dollar teaching grid. I got a club behind the ball right at the target. I have another club that's parallel and I have a third club that's on a right angle for our ball position. What we're going to do, I like to take the club, I pick a little intermediate target out in front of the ball. You can use a tee. I'm going to walk in and the first thing I'm going to do with my body slightly open, I'm going to set the club down right where I want to go. Now, this is important. The golf club face has a leading edge. And a golf club is set down in such a way where that right angles itself to the target. You'll see a lot of golfers that'll do this because they can't quite see the blade and how it's supposed to set. Some people will open it up a little bit. Club head down. I like to put the feet together so that I'm paralleling myself, trying to find the middle of my stance. I extend my arms and then I go 50-50. Okay, I take a look, and now the club is aimed at the target, then my body is aligned parallel. Very simple approach. You aim the club head, and then align the body. Don't ever confuse those two words. Okay, okay I've changed my grid around a little bit so that I can show, let's say you can't get to the golf course, you need to kind of find a way to aim. I've got a, a actually a golf club stuck in the ground there and we can work on our aim we can walk in set the club down right angle it feet together 
line to the club face right in the middle and go 50 50. We aim the club, align our body. We'll talk about posture here in a minute, but the alignment concept is very, very important. Arms extended. Here's the challenge. We'll take maybe somebody like Rose Marie, who walks in because of maybe an eye dominance. She thinks that she's aimed at the target, but in reality, she's off to the right. So here's a point, a very important point to understand about the incorrect alignment. When you're one inch off in your alignment, it's 10 yards of error out there. So two inches, 20 yards, three inches, 30, that's, that's pretty, it magnifies itself. So a person doesn't take lessons, they start aiming to the right, and we tend, here's my point, we tend to swing with our body flow lines. If I'm across the line, I would tend to go in here and go out there, or even more importantly, I'd go in here and over the top. So that's what we run into. That's what I undo on a regular basis. You change your alignment, you change your grip, and you have t great opportunity. So just kind of close by saying this, one other thing, if the opposite would be true, some people that are left eye dominant aim way left. We tend to swing with our body flow lines. We go out to in, and we know what type of ball flight that creates. Kind of a banana slice. And the more they aim to the left, the more they slice it, so they keep aiming more and more. So as I close this down, when we aim the club, put our feet in, we have an opportunity now to use a great swing path here and we can swing with a great swing path here. In other words, a good alignment allows us to make a good swing path. 